Today we're going to compare the uh, Hot Tone Empiro with the new XMG30. Recently I got my hands on the uh, Hot Tone Empiro modeling unit and I uh, put out a shitload of videos about that unit. Sounds great in my opinion. It has basically the same uh, sound uh, algorithms and like the uh, like the uh, Valiton GP200 but um, yeah there are a couple of differences uh, regarding the uh, the options you have uh, for example the uh, here in the cap block you have uh, maybe the ability to choose from different microphones so um, you don't have that ability in the uh, Valiton GP200 but you have this um, function in the new XMG30 so today we would like to compare them side by side and uh, I open up the editor for you here currently I'm playing uh, a patch from my uh, preset pack hiking preset pack which I'm selling if you're interested in these preset packs I'm offering uh, preset packs for all units you may know <laughs> Please contact me. Anyway, here is uh, one patch which uh, uses the Mesa 2C Plus, I think, here, as the name says. And uh, stock cabinet, UK Greenback. And a tube screamer in front of that. And um, a little bit of EQing, the Mesa EQ. Basically, it has the 5 point graphic EQ. So. Um, let me turn off the delay. That is the tone. And uh, I have to set the gate a little bit higher that you don't have background noise. And in the uh, new XMG30 here, I dial in a tone with the grid plexi. And as always, I'm trying to get the best tones out of these units. Um, my goal is not to make them uh, sound uh, exactly the same, but usually I'm after hiking tones so uh, maybe the result will be similar at least. Anyway, here you can hear quite a difference between these tones. And um, I'll show you the other one. This is the Ampero. Yeah, they're quite different but of course in the uh, Ampira as I said I was using the Mesa um, 2C plus and the other unit um, I used the Marshall so um, why did I use the Marshall it was one amp model which I like pretty much here but uh, we can check out the amp models here compare them first as you can see here these are all the amp models you have in the New York's MG30 it's 34 and to be honest, it's not that much. To me, that's fine because um, they have great sounding clean crunch and lead amps here, even for high gains, but not the shitload of uh, amps like uh, maybe some other units have. For example, you don't see maybe the uh, Mesa 2C Plus. You can see only here this one. Sorry, I'm still in the other unit. 
could still uh, see this one, which is maybe uh, some kind of Mesa uh, amp. But um, yeah, not quite sure because here uh, it's Kali Crunch and then suddenly they choose the Deluxe cap, the Fender Deluxe, so might be not the best choice for this amp. So let's go back to our 1960 Priest uh, cabinet. I can hear the sounds totally different than before. So you have to EQ that sound, I think, to make it sound good. To me, it has much, too much uh, frequencies. Maybe we could boost it with another pedal just to get a little bit more saturation out of that. You can immediately hear you have to set the, uh, the noise gate much higher. So we will do that. But it's still floppy as hell. So, um, and also it doesn't sound that convincing. So let's check out another microphone maybe. And um, yeah, maybe then we have to use the, uh, the EQ here. And it comes with some different EQs like a Tenban Graphic EQ. This one, which is maybe a uh, six-band uh, parametric EQ, a graphic EQ, sorry. And you have this EQ here, which is also, I think, a six-band. Anyway, we have to do massive tweaking, I think, to make this amp sound good. And um, that is something which I found out with the uh, Newux MG30. It can sound great, but um, it needs a little bit of tweaking sometimes. So uh, maybe we cannot get this crunch amp to uh, yeah, to high gain, um, at least without any effort. So let's compare maybe other amps. For example, here in the uh, in the hot tone, you can see there way more amps. I don't know if you can see them all, but I think it's way more than 34 and also uh, you have here uh, like um, different channels of amps. For example, here the Bogner Ecstasy Blue uh, Vintage Blue Modern and Red Vintage Red Modern. You have the Mesa Mark IV, you have the 2C Plus and a shitload of Marshall amps and everything you could imagine, I think. And one amp that sounds great and both units is the uh, PV6505. So, first of all, let's uh, check out the one here in the hot tone. And without the delay. here in the new X. And as you can see here in the new X, um, I'm using the EQ here to dial out some of these things here. Upper mids, uh, sorry, treble frequencies. It has way too much of these if I engage them. Maybe you can dial back the presence and also the treble here. But it's kind of a different, um, different effect, I think. Also, you could use here a uh, high cut. Or another microphone 
for example, the Roya, maybe. You can move the microphone a little bit away from the cone. But uh, yeah, let's go back to the initial preset because I like it best. So um, yeah, both sound good in this uh, in this case, I think. Hot tone. And here in the hot tone, it's basically uh, the uh, tube screamer here, as you can see, the uh, 6505 and the uh, the uh, UK Greenback model with the condenser U87 mic. And also you can see here, you have the low and the high cut in the cap section. You can also move the microphone away here with the Z uh, control, a little bit closer to the, uh, to the speaker. <laughs> And also here you can move it around. So that is very flexible and it's very nice to have these um, possibilities here. Also you can see you have really a shitload of uh, caps. I have to say, um, yeah, this is my favorite one, the UK Greenback. The UK Modern sounds also nice, um, I think. And in both units you can add um, additional IRs. Also both units come with some kind of IRs that are simulating uh, the uh, like acoustic guitars. So that's not a cabinet, it's basically a, an IR simulating the characteristics of an acoustic guitar. But I will not compare these things uh, today. Just the uh, amp songs. So yeah, that's uh, it here. And I'm using the uh, Tube Screamer here with fat and air. And let's go back to the new X. Let's see if, if something's changing. If you're using here the Tube Screamer, because here I was using one of my favorite pedals, which is the Steel Singer. But you have the Tube Screamer, of course, here. Sorry, let me engage, disengage here, uh, not disengage, set the threshold higher, and uh, yeah. a different sound. Let's compare some other um, models. Maybe here we have the, uh, the Recto Modern. Again, no additional EQ is involved. And here I think I have somewhere a recto sound. Here maybe. But here I'm using a third party IR, so uh, maybe we can check out a stock IR here as well. I'm always using this 1960 because it sounds best to me of these hours. To be honest, the stock hours here are not, uh, not so nice in my opinion. 
and also you don't have the ability here to, to move the microphone away. So, uh, yeah. Maybe let's use this. And you have only these microphones, only eight. So, it, as I said, it took me quite a lot of tweaking to get good tones out here. But uh, yeah, you can get my preset pack if you want. And uh, yeah, so uh, what did I do here? I scooped a little bit of the mids, which is something which I usually don't do with rectals because they are very scooped. But here the IR sounds really um, mid focused. The thing here is it has lots of these uh, around 1k frequencies which seem to come from the IR. You can get ri rid of a bit um, of these frequencies if you move the microphone more to the cone. Only here these uh, yeah three band parametric EQ which is very limited which is also a little bit, uh, annoying so I try to scoop this a little bit more by using the amp controls that might be too much. As you can see, uh, you have to know what you're doing to get a good tone out of this unit. But that said, it's, it doesn't sound bad at all, the new X. Um, it's to me, it sounds really nice, especially the effects are the one where this unit is shining. So uh, maybe I can show you. Here we have three effects blocks, um, effects one, effects two and, uh, two, and effects three. You can move them around here in the signal chain, like all the other blocks. But um, you have shitloads of effects here. For example, here you have a list with four compressors and different boost uh, pedals, enhancers, uh, acoustic simulator pedal, and uh, was auto was filters um what else of course course uh, phase of flanger and everything you might imagine the thing is um i personally like uh, like stereo effects a lot especially stereo chorus and the stereo delay and um here you have only one stereo delay which is usable for my uh, purpose. You have two stereo delays here, the dual echo and the ping pong, but the ping pong delay is cutting off, oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong unit, it's cutting off lots of the, of the lows so it doesn't sound. And it doesn't have a tone control as well. The dual echo is the one I'm using. It has a stereo delay, everything fine, but no other stereo delays, which is a little bit of a shame. Also in the reverb section, you don't have uh, that much reverbs here uh, and no stereo reverb I think. As this uh, algorithms are basically the same like when the Valuton GP200 I can say with the Valuton GP200 they added some stereo delays and reverbs with the later firmware so I hope this is coming for this unit here too. But here 
In the new X, you have uh, not that much delays, but you have uh, some stereo delays like the uh, pan delay, the do time, what else? Um, I don't know, maybe that's it, but they sound great. Not that the stereo delay here sounds bad. But it sounds a little bit more artificial to me. As here. That is maybe, sounds perfect to me. It doesn't have a tone knob as well, but uh, yeah, if, if it sounds perfect, then it sounds perfect. That's enough. Also the reverb here. Damp reverb, perfect. As in the other unit. Currently I'm using the church reverb. It's also okay, but again, no tone control. You cannot dampen the reverb. So, uh, yeah. The other effects here, um, as I said, you have a shitload, which is okay, but uh, I'd rather like to have the uh, really great sounding effects. And um, for example, here, the phasers and flangers, they sound really nice, I think. No problem with that. And nothing to complain. And also they have some kind of unusual uh, effects here. So, um, yeah, these effects sound, sound nice, but um, what I'm missing is, uh, is a good sounding stereo chorus. And here you have only this one, the Atsora. Doesn't sound that convincing to me. This, this, Dimension C, basically, which is to me the best sounding but still not that convincing. This one's also not bad. And the detune. Yeah, but um, here, we have this one. Which is really a nice song in my opinion. Especially if you pair it with the stereo delay. So, uh, yeah, it's really nice. Again, you don't have that much uh, effects here. You have also these. Uh, dimension courses. And also a nice sound detune effect. And also the other effects here, um, the phasers and flanges, they sound really nice and convincing. So, um, yeah, that is something. <laughs> Yeah. 
that is something which I uh, I see personally as the benefit of this unit, the Nuix MG30. It has great effects. The amps um, and caps are kind of, uh, they are also really nice as far as dynamics go and as far as the, uh, the playing feel goes. Maybe superior to the, uh, to the other unit, but um, they are a little bit harder to dial in. So, um, yeah, I'd say the winner here as far as the uh, um, effects go is the Nuix MG30. Also, it comes with this scene control here. So that is something uh, where you can basically assign which effects are engaged in which scene. For example, here you might have a uh, rhythm scene. Let me dial that in. Here maybe you have a lead scene with the chorus or maybe without the chorus. And here we have the lead scene with the chorus. And uh, so if you save that, it's basically you could switch, switch between these scenes within one preset. That's very flexible. As this unit has only three uh, switches, three buttons, you can use one for going up the scenes. So you can always, within one patch, going through, through these three scenes. And um, yeah, I explained the concept in another video. It's really flexible. Also, it comes with an additional two uh, foot switch uh, box. And uh, so in total, you may have five foot switches that comes with the new X, as uh, the hot tone can, comes with um, only four foot switches, but you can buy an additional uh, yeah, two foot switch uh, box and then I think it's also working. Both come with expression pedals. I didn't check them, them out that much, but I think they're working fine. Yeah, and also um, the, uh, the uh, new X has a intelligent harmonizer, which is not that convincing. Again, it needs maybe more processing power. I got some uh, decent results with it. But uh, the Ampero doesn't come with a, an intelligent harmonizer. It comes only with the uh, Octaver up and down and also with a fixed pitch shifter um, effect. Again, if you are an effects junkie, maybe you should consider more towards the new XM330. Otherwise, um, if you want to have something that is easy to use, then maybe the Hotton Ampero. Or if you need more flexibility, then maybe even the Valuton GP200. So I hope this helps you. Please purchase my preset packs, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.